Hello friends, or better yet, aloha, because we are talking about Hanauma Bay today. If you are going to Oahu, the Hawaiian island of Oahu, it is a must go place if you love fish, if you love snorkeling and just being in the water and being able to see nature up close and personal. Now, there are some changes that have been made, so I wanted to let you know what that reservation system at this point in time looks like. That could change in the next little bit. It could not, I'm not really sure, but as of this point, I'm gonna give you the information that I have and the experience that we went through in order to go. So right now it is a reservation only system and I'm going to show you exactly what I did and some tips and tricks on that in a second. So hold tight on that while I give you some background. So before it wasn't like this, you would just take your chance and go. And if you got a parking spot, you get to go in, but people would line up early and some people don't leave for a long time. So you just crossed your fingers and went. Right now, it is a reservation only system, except for locals. As of July 28th, there was a pilot program introduced. And so locals can go take that chance and take that little uh, talk at the top of where you enter. And then you just walk down to Hanauma Bay. But for non-local people like myself, you still have to make a reservation. And I must say the price went up from $12 before to now it is $25. And it will probably stay that way uh, because of the limited number of entrance people. So have that in mind if you are not local and if you are not under the age of 13, be prepared to pay $25 a person. Also parking is $1 if you're a local, $3 if you are not a local, or if you don't have a local person with you, I should say. So be prepared for that. That part requires cash. The entrance fee you can pay on credit card. So with all that said, let me walk you through the reservation system. And don't forget to stay with me all the way to the end because I have a bonus treat tip on the way back from Hanauma Bay too. So let me walk you through how to make this reservation. You first come to this website and then you come down here where it says Hanauma Bay. Can you see that? And you click on it and you wanna come here at 7 a.m. Hawaii time when it releases because otherwise you get this where it just tells you it is all sold out every single time. But when you log on at 7 a.m., you maybe have 30 seconds, one minute to nervously make your choice of what time. And you may have to try several times like I did, where you try to go on, pick your times, you enter your information, and then it tells you it is sold out and you try to go back. And then you choose another time and it is also sold out. So you have to try again the next day by being at your computer right at the crack of 6.59 so you can refresh at seven and try to get your spot. On the third time, I was able to get it. And just as a reminder, Monday and Tuesday, they are closed. And so that is not available. If you click on a Monday, you get this. No sessions available for this day. And they have started a Kama'aina pilot program, which is for locals. You can just go without a reservation. You watch the video at the top. Um, or I think it's just a talk and then they let you go down. So that's pretty cool. If you are a resident, I am not, but that is something that is available. And here is what you get if you are successful and it makes you just feel so great that you finally got a time. You must take this document with you and you are ready to go. Starting the drive into Hanauma Bay, the first stop is going to be parking. So if you are a resident, make sure you have your ID card out and one or three dollars, depending on if you're a resident or not. We went through, we paid the local price because I am with family and at eight o'clock in the morning, it is actually quite nice. There are still spots. We were not afraid of missing our last spot. Now line up for your reservation time. If your time's not there yet, if you're too early, you just wait, there's two at a time. Once they let you in, you have to pay if you need to pay. If not, you just go show them your ID and then you pass by the gift shop and you go towards your nine minute video that you have to watch before you go down. 
we watched the video so we're on the tram to go down which is free right now before i believe it was a dollar to go down a dollar 25 to come back up which i still would have paid probably with the kids and all of our stuff but it is really nice that it is complimentary right now my kids are excited and wondering if they get to see the humu humu nuku nuku apu a a did i say that yay here we are. I'm just soaking up a little bit of the beauty that is here. It's 8 a.m., but there's still a number of people. Probably not as crowded as later, but we are getting ready to go. We are set up. Let me first walk you through what we packed, though. So in my bag, the first thing I see is my swim shirt so that I don't get burnt while I am snorkeling and my body is out of the water. And of course, snorkel gear. And I brought these arm floaties for the kids. They know how to swim a little bit better, but just in case, since we're gonna be floating a lot, and there's some change in clothes in there. Um, there are also masks, um, that's for the tent cover, uh, goggles in case they wanted to wear those instead, and reef-friendly sunscreen. That's something they mentioned in the video to have reef-friendly sunscreen, towels, hats, and of course over here you need to pack a lunch so there's a lot of food in here onigiri that's our favorite thing to bring to the beach um, which is so good and some pancakes because we did come early we also have more food and drinks in there some sparkling water kid hats and a boogie board either to sit on or maybe we'll float on it and we also have our little shade pop-up tent and some beach toys we're getting ready. Are you getting ready to snorkel, buddy? What did you find, bud? Rocks. Rocks? Let me see. Oh, they kind of look like reef, like dried reef pieces, huh? Looks nice. Did you have fun looking at the fish today? Yeah. Yeah. Did you try on the boogie board too? To ride the boogie board as I pulled you? Yeah. Which one do you like better? Swimming on my back or swimming on the boogie board? On the back. Oh, okay. Well, it's good to know. Let's do one last look at Hanauma Bay. The curved bay is the meaning of Hanauma. Until next time, Hanauma Bay. few more things I want to share before we go to that treat. One is I recommend water shoes. If you're going to the Waikiki Beach area, you probably want water shoes because those beaches are pretty rocky when you go in. And unless you want to make this face out, 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 every step you take going in and coming out, I recommend water shoes. And also for those reefs in Hanauma Bay, in case you're kicking and you hit a reef, that's gonna hurt your foot. They're pretty sharp. So I recommend those water shoes. The second thing is when you're deciding where to park yourself at the bay, if you're parking by yourself by where the mountain come, comes down, um, where the rocks are, there could be mongoose. There are creatures that are very quick and can come get your lunch. So be careful, um, make sure your food is tucked away. Just do it at all times regardless, unless you have someone parked there at all times. But there could be creatures that come get your food. So 
be careful of that. Also, this. I really like, don't mind the money, but this lanyard. This lanyard has gone with me to Great America. This lanyard has gone with me into the ocean. And the video that I took of the fish, my phone was in here and I just took it through here. So your phone stays safe, you get to take pictures, you carry your stuff with you in case no one is at your seating area. Your valuables are with you. So I highly recommend this. It's cheap, totally worth it. And also, there could be rain. Just know that that is always a possibility with Hawaiian weather, but you're going into the ocean anyway, so be prepared and it actually kind of feels good when it's so hot outside. Another thing is there is rental gear. So if you don't want to take your snorkel gear or go buy any or anything like that because you're only going once and you're visiting, there is snorkel gear to be rented there. Anything that you want for your diving experience, it is there for you to rent. We will probably be going back um, at different times in the future and we just bought them for like 10 bucks at Walmart. Um, Walmart has stuff, Target has stuff. Stuff tends to run out, but at Walmart, there was a ton. So for 10 bucks, um, everybody got their own snorkels. Plus in COVID, we didn't really want to rent things. And so we just bought our own. They were cheap. They might not last a long time, but it did the job. So those are my recommendations. Now let's go eat that treat. I promised the bonus treat tip. Here it is. On the way back from Hanauma Bay, if you're going to Waikiki, right after Hanauma Bay, is this truck in a shopping center, the Leonard's Malasada truck. So good. Stop there, have a hot pipe in Malasada, and you're welcome. Bye, friends. <laughs>